Good day, welcome to Multinet Design. In this tutorial, we are going to talk about how to use Photoshop with Revit 2023. So, follow us too. So, let's go to our building sorts. If you did not follow how we create camera in Revit, you can check the lessons of all these series in our tutorial so you get and follow us too. So kindly subscribe to this channel so that you continue to enjoy more of the tutorial we are making every day. Now, the next thing to do is that you have to render this image first. After you render this image, you need to take it to Photoshop, assign uh, the materials whatsoever, change the graphics of it and bring it back to Revit. So you are going to teach you how to do that and to do a pattern of documentation for it so that when you want to send to your clients it will be more easy so before that check how we set up to, uh, a tutorial on material editing and scene and so forth in all in one of the series in this uh, particular building design so what we do now is that we want to set a rendering dialog you can assess your rendering dialog to previous means you can go to view you see you can access it from here by clicking on this particular thing you to click photorealistic so this one will come up for you and you can access it from this down below ribbon where you are able to click if you click on it's going to bring the same pattern for you so you work on it and if you want to render in cloud render uh, render gallery and things like that they are all presentable but is beyond the scope of this particular uh, tutorial so you concentrate on what we want to talk about now so for you to get a beautiful image there are so many things to do if you are rendering in a photoshop i mean if you want to render to photoshop using you no know, uh, graphics of uh, revit itself if you are not going to use Fury the next tutorial we're going to talk about Fury here but for now let us focus on this particular one so here what to do there are so many settings you can do here but thanks for the review 2023 is now come with what with uh, retracing image that make your learning to be more polite and more significant fantastically bright than the previous uh, fashions so what you do is that you come to this place and change your settings the quality settings so the more if the more you increase the more you get good image on your building so you can test rendering by using rendering region click on that so that this one will allow you to just focus on particular area that you want to test the material how beautiful it is and you render quick and fast so let us do some quick rendering and see how that will work so now quick and see render it won't take more time because the size are so so small so we're going to render as quick as possible now so that will give you the basic factor of what you are doing and the whole work will be done in a quick succession it could be so this is how quick it is so if you want to change the change it to something higher and change this particular to 150 you can quickly do the rendering it's going to bring out the image as quick as possible as well so it's just going to render that particular space it is calculating the material and everything that's the reason so the more the size increase the more you get it much slower but just no matter how heavy it it may be or what you just need to concentrate your idea so what you want to do just want to get the feasible aspect of the this space 
that you are rendering so that's how that's the function of a region so that region will allow you to blend the whole things quick as much as possible and if you are doing uh, when you are doing your rendering or calculating the whole space that you need to understand the bit the finer the age the bigger the size of your files so you need to be very focused when you are choosing those particular points so the confidence on what to allow you to blend the whole series together now what we do here is that this is how far it can go with this uh, print dpi of uh, 150 if you increase it you are going to continue to get fine development image and images are going to be more realistic and so so if you want to do that just click on take off the region that you don't want the region so when you want to render you render the whole space so when you want to publish things to photoshop you always come to background style if you are okay with the kind of uh, settings that you have here it's okay much of what you need to do is to continue testing it and see how far you can go you can decide to use color i use color most of the time by this i'll just I'll allow it to give me some things that i need if i don't want to use particular skies but if you are taking it to photoshop where you can have a normal background so what you need to do is that you use transparent this will allow you to go far in what you are doing so when you use the transparency all the background whatsoever it will not go along with it when you export this image you are going to get this image alone now you can decide to change the settings of the sun if you are want to all this bulb to be appearing you can just reuse interior i mean exterior and artificial exterior exterior that is sun and artificial you must make sure that artificial is present because all this one are particular artificial there's natural rendering the natural light which is sun which is being programmed to revit so now if you do that one now artificial light you have some way in which you can adjust them in this place and create some group of options and continue to adjust to the points so it depends on the number of bulb and every all the groups or the lighting you are having here so if you want to change your section of the light as well it's applicable i think one of our when we are casting shadow we have touched all these things so the same method you use in that place you are going to use it place. so if you are not getting the point of that shadow you can go to one of our tutorial check the playlist you are going to see them there so try as much as possible subscribe to our channel we are every day updating and uploading videos that will benefit your career in revit so now as you have set all these things the best thing to do is that when you click on rendering the whole program will start in the motion as going to continue to render for you and after which this render for you you can likely to have some image like this sorry image like this which i have done a little bit of it so by the time you do that you export it to wherever you are putting it then before you do that one then you take it to photoshop so let us create a, open our photoshop here and see how far we can go with that aspect so photoshop and opening photoshop 60 cx is, is what i'm using to create whatsoever i want to create in this place after which i will bring it back to this particular project so now i have saved the the save that particular uh, image in some way so i'm opening it go to my desktop on my desktop i should have the image sitting or situated here here is the image using sort so here is it this is the image i'm talking about that i've already been created i see the background everything is empty and things so and so forth like that so if you want to bring a background to this place you can decide to do it and if you want to create your own based on what you want to do you can decide to create it so photoshop will allow you to do whatever you want to do in the manner that pleases you 
this is a layer you are going to create another layer you can just click like this and create i'm using rectangle so i'm creating this particular like background for it so in this background i want to fill it i'm just using normal sky let's just cry like this then you are bringing this below all right this is up so that is the magic of which you are using in photoshop from here now you can begin to adjust what you are doing can you see so that is what you do and you are having the background in this manner so you can as well now begin to work on your image and let them have more clearer and adjustment so like this you can see auto tone look at it when you click on auto tone you're going to see a little reflection little bit of changing auto color you are going to see them that manner so now if you want to adjust them based on your home particular uh, experience so you want to change the level the more you adjust this the more you are going to see a lot of changes be looking at the image while you are adjusting this dialogue little by little are you seeing it so until you are able to satisfy with what you have if you want to change it are you see so if you are changing in that manner you are continuing to do something beautiful to attract what you are working on so i think i like this the way it is a little bit like this now let me adjust another particular one so i'm going to curve in the curve this one give me some sparkling beauty in the images that i'm creating things like this so the more you adjust don't too much put pressure on it so just a little bit adjustment and see how far this thing will go with you you see some fine details are coming out little by little and some colors are changing as well so that is how you work so click ok i think i'm okay with that assign this one again go to exposure or let's say okay i want to use a color balancing in the column balancing i would like to increase this blue reduce this cyan can you see i'm getting something beautiful to my taste if you like it this way you can increase it if you do just reduce it to your so i think i'm okay with this so that is how you work on Revit. change you can do whatsoever you want to do irrespective of what so now you can bring image from outside as well if you have you know I just let's say building sorts modern okay let me use this clay thing so it's one of the project I did some times ago now you click on this and you can bring this image just drag this down so you drag this down now you can bring this particular image into be like this background of a sky you can bring it here now bring more like human beings like this so you can bring this man if you have more of human being you want to use you can bring them in that is three so all this one are going to be useful and available so you can close this if you don't want them again so this particular one what you just need to do is to bring it to the last place why you hide this by toggling these eyes so you hide this particular one now from here now you can begin to expand that by pressing shift on your board so that the scale will remain so take, make sure take your time learning you can get background anyway on the internet you can download and get background fine for yourself so apply after you do that click on this then you bring it to where you want to bring it if you want to bring it to the front or bring it to the back you can duplicate it by pressing on it and say right click and say duplicate the layer if you duplicate the layer you can bring it somewhere here increase it increase the size by pressing shift then from there you take it backward apply click on select and apply and bring it back to the back uh, behind the building can you see so it's behind the building that is how you use photoshop in what in uh, 
Revit. So you are combining those things together. This image of a man, you can decide to increase it by pressing shift and continue to increase it depending on where you want to use it. So apply. The beautiful thing about uh, Photoshop is that the moment you bring them in, it's going to remain the same, uh, how do we call it? The same quality of image is going to be maintained, irrespective of how you increase the size. So you can increase this man a bit, adjust it, and so on and so forth. So that is how you create image. Can you see now that you have created something beautiful now? Some people used to have flies. There's something like sparkling on the building. So all these things have uh, certain things they do in your building. So sharpen, rendering. If <laughs> you do want to use this one, I want to use a lens fly or light effect, lighting effect and left fly. Don't let use this particular one because it's a sparkling light. Something like this always happen when you are doing your Photoshop and you can be able to adjust them and give you to some uh, beauty of what you are doing. So click on it. Can you see the sparkling of Photoshop and you see the kind of little bit of light that is available here. So this is how you work on what in your Photoshop and things like that. So as you have done it now, what you need to do is to save. When you click on save, save as save as then you come to wherever you can save this image and click on save with that name, Revit Parts. That's what I want to use it for. So I want to change it. I'm using I'm not using that Photoshop so I'm using PNG Okay, this one will serve me PNG and say so what happened? No, okay, I did something so I want to just click on save us in the save us I'm using okay, let you build in sort already got a name and you just say no, no let me use build so go eliminate eliminate that which I've created before. So building Revit. So now you use Photoshop and say PNG and say save. Click on save. It will automatically be rendering from this word dialog. By the time you see the dog and complete that is the size of what he has created for you. This is the old size of original. This is what the new size has been. 22.8 is the new size for you. So you click and you say you go back to your uh, Revit. From here now, as you are seeing this rendering part, what to do is that you just import the image as you have done there. So click on uh, import insert and insert say insert image. Go to your desktop where you keep that building sort and click on it and say import. Wait for it, let it load. So here is the image he brought for you. So this one cover, see the initial one. And see the beauty, the beautiful image being designed by Photoshop. So if you present this one to your client, your client is going to be more appreciative when you bring something like this for him more than that. So that would be the best for you to work with. So that is the image of how to repackage the image in Photoshop. So you can document it by creating it for a sheet for it. So new sheet and a new sheet click on the particular one and you drag it. You can now import another image from there. The particular that particular image you can be it and say okay import. good then you decide it to fit in this particular space so that is the beauty of what you have done so thanks for learning this particular program
subscribe to our channel write your comment uh, so and so forth for the next available video thanks